Okay, today is September 8, 2013. Uh, there's another stock on my radar, and uh, that is uh, JCPenney. I'm going to take a look at uh, JCPenney in this video here. Uh, you can see that, uh, you know, it, uh, it, it's still, you know, there's a trend line coming down here, and it seems like it's ready to uh, come up and break that trend line. And also, if you notice that, uh, you know, this area here, uh, ever since uh, that hedge fund manager, uh, uh, Bill Ackman sold out his uh, interest on JCPenney. You see that it's kind of been, uh, you know, making a, uh, a, a a bounce back up after it made the uh, little low down here. Okay, and you can also uh, notice that there is a uh, slight, you know, MACD uh, positive divergence here. And the other thing is, uh, you can see that uh, if we uh, kind of scroll this back up, you know, zoom this back in here. Here's the uh, little pivot low here. And it seems to be, uh, you know, uh, poking out of this uh, pivot low. Came back down and retest that and then bounced off of it. So last Friday, got this little of a, uh, you know, doji hammer. And essentially, right now, I'm kind of looking for this uh, to uh, move back up to uh, possibly to this uh, particular uh, pivot, you know, uh, uh, pivot low here and get above the uh, the declining 50-day moving average as well as this uh, declining trend line. So if we could get back up on this trend line, there could uh, be a good possibility of it could uh, come up uh, near the 1650 uh, price level in the near term, and it might even uh, get up to uh, you know test this uh, 20 you know this 200-day moving average. So uh, certainly uh, there could be some uh, potential upside on trading uh, JCPenney in the near term if it uh, you know continue to bounce off the uh, this uh, little bottom here. Uh, since Aikman, uh, I mean, since Ackman uh, bailed out of his position, and with uh, additional hedge fund coming in, and also uh, you know just uh, you know recently heard that uh, Mark Cuban, the owner of Mav uh, the uh, Dallas Maverick, has also bought a million share of uh, you know J.C. Penney, so uh, certainly that could stir a little bit of interest. And based on the uh, technical aspect of it, you know, on the technical basis, it seems to be you know, uh, uh, bouncing off of these uh, bottom. And it could be, very well be that uh, would be a near-term bottom here. And if I also use the uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement to kind of get some idea of uh, what these, uh, you know, possible uh, uh, low is. Uh, let me uh, do this here. Okay. You can see right now it seems to be uh, you know coming off and uh, hitting that 50% uh, retracement. So if we get a, get up above this 50-day uh, moving average, essentially breaking above this trend line, uh, that will get above the uh, the 618, and uh, it could uh, you know come back and uh, retest this 618 or the 50-day. Uh, uh, so maybe uh, the price action might come up to be like this before it uh, make its move to get up to uh, this level somewhere around the. Uh, you know, 1650 uh, area. So uh, that's uh, a little bit of my observation. You know, it's uh, like I said, you know, this is uh, purely, uh, you know, on a technical basis, got nothing to do with the fundamental of the company or anything like that. So uh, good luck.